You guys know this movie came out almost a decade after the first one, and you know what? After seeing this one, I kind of understand why. Sin City. A Dame to Kill For. Candy cigarettes, by the way. So Sin City, A Dame to Kill For is a sequel, but also a prequel to the original Sin City that came out in 2005. Yeah, it's almost been a decade since the first one came out. And so in this one, you have almost all the cast back together, but we have some newcomers, one of them being Joseph Gordon-Levitt as Johnny, who is this really cocky, but very lucky gambler. Like, he just senses if he's gonna win or he's gonna not. Mickey Rourke as Marv comes back, and we have Dwight back. Kind of. Like the last one, you have three storylines that kind of intertwine a new storyline, who is the, the Dame to Kill For, who is played by Eva Green, or Ava. Jessica Alba, who returns as Nancy, the stripper, who is being haunted by visions of Bruce Willis. The best thing about this movie, honestly, just like the first one, this movie just looks as good, if not even better than the first one. The cinematography is even more gorgeous to this time around. The comic book panel backgrounds look even better this time around. Mickey Rourke is Mars again kicks so much ass in this one. Newcomer Joseph Gordon-Levitt almost stole the show completely and I thought his storyline was honestly the most intriguing out of all of them. When Jessica Alba returns I thought she was even better than the first one surprisingly. She did a really good job playing a really kind of messed up person on the inside. The first thing I have to really talk about was the casting and in a sense recasting. Why did you have to recast Dwight? Why didn't you just keep Clive Owen? You recast him with Josh Brolin. I mean, nothing against Josh Brolin, but I'd rather see the person who previously played him in the sequel, even though this was more of the prequel aspect. There was a certain part where, <laughs> where Josh Brolin got the Clive Owen hairstyle. I almost started laughing. I was just like, okay, just, just bring in Clive, seriously. Just... <laughs> You look stupid, Josh. Also, why did you recast Miho? Devon Oki, I think that's her name, the one who played Miho in the first one. You replaced her with Jamie Chung. She just seemed scared. I don't know why, compared to Devon, when he looked in her eyes, she, she'd be like, yeah, you cross me, I'll cut your dick off. When it comes to Eva Green, I love Eva Green. She is a beauty to look at, and she is very fun to look at. When it came to this one, I don't think she was very good in it. Which brings me to the A Dame to Kill For storyline. When you're on your main storyline, the storyline that is literally named on the movie, when that is not as interesting as your other two subplots, you have a problem right there. When it came to Johnny's storyline, JGL storyline, I think it was like 15 minutes in and all of a sudden it just cut into the A Dame to Kill For storyline and then I think five minutes in, I was out. Like, I was actually kind of bored at times. It just kept dragging on and on and on. At some point, I was just sitting there going like, can we get back to Johnny's storyline? And speaking of that storyline, that storyline, while well, I love the storyline, the ending sucks. That's such a shitty ending. Are you serious? And plus, this movie just stopped. It just like stopped. I was just like, okay, that's the end of it? Really? The runtime of Sin City, the first one, was two hours long. Fast paced as can be. Sin City Dame to Kill For was an hour and 42 minutes. It was almost 20 minutes shorter, and this one felt like it was a half an hour longer than Sin City. So overall, Sin City A Dame to Kill For was not as good as the first one. I didn't find it as emotionally resonant as the first one was. For this movie being delayed 10 years, yeah, I can kinda see why. I'm gonna give Sin City A Dame to Kill For a three out of five, yeah. I just, I mean, I wasn't terribly looking forward to this movie, but like once I saw the first one, I was like, you know what? I'm looking forward to it. Which out of these two movies is your favorite one? Sin City or A Game to Kill For? And I will see you guys next time.